Hi, welcome to my sewing room and to a new video. If the title 1940s holiday hosting and sewing, virtual friends giving raised an eyebrow, then let me explain. So Friendsgiving is a relatively new term. My research dates it back to 2007. If you think this is incorrect or have any information otherwise, then feel free to let me know. But over this year, I have made so many vintage sewing friends and we are all spread out all over the country. So I had this idea to have a virtual Friendsgiving, but to make it set in 1940. And some of my vintage sewing friends have agreed to time travel with me. What would one wear to Friendsgiving in the 1940s? How would you style your hair? How would you do your makeup? What dish would you bring with you? Some of the posts here as well as on Instagram aim to answer these questions. I will put up an image of all of the creators who took part in this and you'll be able to find their information in the description box below as well. So for me, 1940s Friendsgiving, I am going to be sewing the dress that I would wear using an authentic vintage sewing pattern from the 1940s. And I will also be baking an apple pie from scratch using a cookbook from the 1940s. So I'm excited for this video. I hope you check out some of the other creators videos. I will leave all of their information in the description box below. I will be doing some things that I normally don't do like baking and so this should be fun. So let me know down below what you are thankful for this holiday season. I am definitely thankful for all of you being here and for all of your support. So to support this video, I ask that you give it a share and share it with someone that you would love to spend a Friendsgiving with, whether virtual or in person in 2021 or in 1940, the choice is yours. So with all of that said, let's get into the cooking and the sewing. So here is the pattern that I am using. It is a 1940s McCall's. And I'm going to do this view because I really like the look of the sleeve. Um, how it's a little poofy here, but then gathered at the cuff. I'm thinking this should be easy enough, and it's a 37 bust, um, but it has buttons. So I'm thinking I may even just do a mock-up just for this bodice part, just to make sure um, that it fits well. But I'm going to go ahead and cut out the skirt, the sleeves, and the pockets. And I'm going to use this fabric that I picked up from Joanne. It looks like Thanksgiving or just really fall to me because of the leaves. I want to do the pockets with this as an accent and perhaps even the collar if that's something I can figure out how to do. Try to make it a little bit more special so I want to use the contrasting fabric and this is like a crepe back satin or something like that and so yep that is the plan. We're gonna do view A of this vintage sewing pattern, the vintage McCall's. I'm trying to get this all done. I can move on to the cooking portion of this video. Um, a few of the ladies' videos have already went up and mine should have been up. And so definitely wanna get caught up with this process. So we're just going to dive right in.
So I'm gonna be mocking up just the bodice. I don't think it was necessary to do the skirt. And so I have all of the bodice pieces cut out of muslin. I have markings on them and we're just gonna get started with that. It's gonna be a rough mock up, like no, I'm gonna just go as far as I need to go to make sure that this thing fits. So the mock-up came out well. It fit, and that was what I was really looking for. It probably does need some small adjustments, but none that I know how to do at the present moment. And so I'm going to save this and use it for practice later on making those adjustments. I knew the crust would need time to chill, so I thought, why not? head to the kitchen and get started on that process now. And then I headed back to the sewing room. Not really sure what's happening here. I'm trying to attach the collar. These instructions are really weird and confusing. I have no idea. But from what I'm getting, from just like pinning it and trying to figure out what makes sense, is, oh no, this is completely backward. Or maybe it's not. And it would basically go down like this, and I'll press that, of course. Make that all neat. And it would kind of go, you know, like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch this down this way. And then, I really don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to do what it takes to make it look nice. The bodice is coming right along and looking pretty good, so let's head back to the kitchen.
the pie is coming along so let's head back to the sewing room and work on those sleeves that I've been putting off because of this slash I am so very proud of this facing. It is such a neat detail. Now back to that pie filling. It's about time to get ready to log on to the virtual Friendsgiving. I couldn't decide between the burgundy or the orange, so I tried them both on. Which do you like best? I ended up going with the burgundy. Friendsgiving ended up being a lot of fun, even though it was virtual. And I haven't forgot to show you the dress in its entirety, so I hope you're still here.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was my favorite to make so far. I am really proud of it. And so I ask that you do me a favor and share this video. It definitely helps push my channel and it would be so appreciated. And I will see you in my next video that is soon and sure to come.